feel like that, girl. You posting like sexual shit, especially some of us be posting sexual guys that making money. Some of some girls, bro. I don't know what the fuck you posting it for. So she it gotta be for attention or some shit. It can't be for me. Sit too. Me. You know what I'm saying? So guys, and my brothers in your comments for in, bro. So how especially if you bad for real, get a lot of likes and shit like that. A motherfucker's gonna, a motherfucker that's up there is gonna Why are slide you in the It's competition, I gotta work. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of RS3 Nation Podcast. This man, you want some tacos? Yeah. Uh, uh, Alright, welcome to another episode of RS3 Nation Podcast. We got a lot of special guests with us tonight. Shout out to them, both of my cameramans, Mari and uh, Emma Song. We're we'll gonna get into a lot of shit. We're we'll gonna meet our guests first, starting from the left to the right. Go ahead, tell me your name and, and, and if they can find you on Instagram or something like that. My name is Avery. My Instagram. Don't look at me, look at the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Which camera? That, you, you the camera. Either or. Either or. You ain't gotta look at me. You ain't gotta look at me. I sat in the wrong spot. I hate going first all the time. I'm Avery. No one can fucking spell my name anyway, so my Instagram handle I always have to spell. Because it's Avery Michelle, A V R I E M I C H E M L E. My name is Symphony. My Instagram is Symphony Dawn. Continue. What? 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 Where else they find you at? That's it. That's it. That's all I got. That's what you said. You said where all of my. That's the same tab for everything. It's Symphony Dawn. Y'all know who this is? G. Yes, sir. You can find me on IG at my name Marley, and then from there you can find where's my social media. Schema 2, man. You can find me at Schema 2 on social media, man. He ain't got an iPhone, though, so it's not going to be hard. Yeah, I'm an Android. You know? Just come sit right here, bro. Nah, come, on, come on, come on. Tell me about you guys. Come on, come on. Tell me where you at. It's your boy Emerson. Follow me on the high rap. Instagram, hey. you feel me? Yeah, that's it. God, damn, you got me shit tempo all the time. My first question is, it's for everybody, but it's mostly aimed towards the ladies, right? Oh, great. No, Don't do that. You've been waiting for this. You want whatever we on this topic. Right. So like, when people come at you on Instagram, how do you feel like, do you, do the slide of DMs bother you or you rather than talk to me in person? Or like when they say like, I'm gonna slide, like, I'm gonna slide of DMs. Is that unattractive to y'all? Cause I feel like a lot of people be sliding DMs and like, y'all either know them, they don't get a response or it's like. I don't think so. Cause that's just like the time that we're in. Yeah. But if it's the same thing, it mentioned me the same thing all the time, I'm not. And, and like liking someone's your photos <laughs> or like swiping up on my story with the fire emoji doesn't count. Like I remember like some guy was always like hearting my photos or fire firing emojis and then he wished me happy birthday and I said thank you. So you finally answered me. I'm like, what? what am I supposed to respond to a heart like in a fire emoji? Well, like yeah. Well, you know, too, I, like, I have this, I literally have this guy that rolls 
so I'm not supposed to come at your home, girl. It's fair game, because you ain't saying nothing. I seen it was in Vegas, right? And my brother, he had spoke stepped down on a girl, oh. and she was like, "Nah, I wasn't in Vegas. Not, not him. Elm. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Damn, all the fuck, bro. But fuck it. Bro was in Vegas, right? It was on in Vegas. And bro was like, uh, he tried to talk to a girl, but she was like, oh, I got a man or whatever. So by a couple minutes ago, her friend come by. So he stepped down. She's like, nah, you try to talk to my friend. Bitch, like, we in Vegas for what? That shit, you should let that shit fly for one. I guess two, it depends on my friend group. Two, and it's like, it's big, it's big. you like, you want, your friend already got a dude, that's why she shot me down, but why the fuck you doing it? Cause I, you try to highlight my friend. Like that shit, it's weird to me. It's okay, crazy. okay, so, so even if you find the person attractive, you want, you wouldn't message the person back to the Well, like, I get it in the situation of at the club, like, yeah, it's probably that's not gonna it's, be like a dating thing, but if you're like, just sliding into everyone's DMs, seeing what catches. Well, no, I'll say this, like, okay, let's say, like, you mess with my friend, and I kind of have an interest in you, then you mess with me then. It, just, it depends on my friend. You don't feel that's your pride st stepping no, away? No, no, no. <laughs> no, it depends on the friend group, because, like, I have, like, friends where I'm like, okay, I know I cannot okay. step over that boundary, but then I have friends who are like, oh, bitch, go have him, like, whatever, it's cool, like, you can mess with him, if you like him, you like him, whatever, I have no, I don't care. Well, what does it matter if it's just a DM? But no, it's just beyond that part. Like, yeah, it's a DM, but the beyond part is what is discussed. If it gets farther. Yeah. yeah. Would you want if Carla like, message you first? No, I'm girl. Man. Yes. Show me you're too interested in me, goddamn. And, and that's and, and that's another thing. Like, why do women do that? Like, why women are scared to approach men? Like, we're the new generation now. Nah, I'm trying to tell you, he ain't gonna turn you down. But like, why don't why don't women step? Well, most of the time, I feel like girls are always trying to like we have a group. Like, we're gonna go home with our girls. Like, if I'm like I don't really want to like go out of my way. Especially <laughs> it's dangerous to be like going home with like a random guy that you meet at the bar. Like, if I'm it's dangerous, like, but sometimes you have those nights where you just leave somebody. And you it's not to be the right oh, and it's usually a guy that comes up to you, and then your friends kind of get the vibe too. Yeah. Like, and they kind of all suss them out. Yeah. But you don't necessarily have to leave with somebody if you come out of person. Well, no, I was just like, yeah, that's true. Like, if you're just like gonna like go up and like have a conversation with a guy in a bar, but like, I agree too. Like, if I was like, oh, I just want to meet and have a conversation with a guy and hope hope he doesn't ask me to come home with him, I just actually want to continue this conversation. I think that too. I think everyone. I feel like trying to fuck all the time, right? And like, what if I just <laughs> don't want to fuck? Like, what if I actually just want to talk to you and then like you're gonna get mad at me because I wasted your night trying to get to know you, like. Yeah. Why you like, say, why you got wasted night? What you mean by that? Well, so I'm saying, like, if a guy is, like, if I'm, like, out or whatever, like, partying, I feel like that's, like, the expectation, oh, if you're coming up to me, you want to go home with me? Yeah. But if okay. it's, like... So, for example, so if a guy buy you a drink, you think his attention is just to take it's you to get home? Me yeah. You think just, if he buy you a drink? 100%. Why he know he's ain't trying to get to know you? Okay, yeah, if he drives me, if he buys me a drink and just stares at me from across the room, I'm thinking, okay, I just hopefully that, like, I get drunk and he's gonna, like, fuck me later. Well, but what? But if he comes what? and speaks what? to me... What? 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 Yeah. Normally happen at the bar. Like, yeah. normally a guy will, like, I have a guy buy me 
me a drink, and the, my girlfriend that was with me straight up looked at him and was like, she won't say it because she's really too nice, but she's not going to go home with you. And he straight up was like, respect, and like, enjoy your drink, and like, walked away. And I was like, what? are you kidding me? Like, I can't believe you just said that to him. Like, what if he, like, freaked the fuck out? Mm. Are we going to take the direction? I, I want to do this right here, right? So, who love is more genuine, a man or a female? Who love is more genuine? So what you A male or a female, who love is more genuine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, because when a guy, like, when a guy really has female, like... Who love is more genuine? I think it depends on, like, your love language. I feel like a female, dude. That's true. I feel like females can understand emotions better, like but to they can understand. Be some, some, some would be too emotional too, though. So. Yeah, but like, and like when a guy has like that girl he really loves, like that one girl, like it's always different. I feel like girls kind of go through love a lot of times in their life, like puppy love, older love. Like we kind of go through a lot of different kind of like. But when a guy really like he like he plays the field until he finds like that one girl, and then it's like you know he's like so if he's with that girl. Saying a guy's love emoji. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I feel like if it's true love, like I feel you know like what? a guy. I might not have agreed. I think I might not have agreed. Why would you say that? You can't just agree. You gotta give me some. Well, just from my own experiences, maybe so, but I don't know. It just depends on that person. Well, like, that, I feel that like connection. You can have so many in here, don't get yours too low, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, that's yeah, for sure. Like, really, like, in a trend, you know. It's like a lust female. Do you think it's like lust trans well, or like called, love it's, trans? It's, it's, it got something to do with a lot of lust, but it could be love too. That could be, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you care a lot. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I think a man's love no genuine. Why I say that? It's because, like, you got to understand, okay, if you're in a relationship, right? Just shit, now if you're in a relationship, how many times when the shit is getting hard and rocky, does the girl be like, all right, I'm ready to slide, like I'm done. The man, when he go through that shit, he gonna be like, all right, back, like fuck. I love him. It's going rocky, I'm gonna wait this shit out. I'm gonna wait it out, I'm gonna wait it out, I'm gonna wait it out. All right, bet, but it's not gonna wait, all right, let me, try, let me try something different. We find different ways on trying to express the love more, even if we ain't shorter as we should, but we try to express the love more. But a lot of females, like when the shit get rocky and hard. never work, it'll never work. They do. What you ever hear that? Like when it get rocky and hard, girls are so quick to like, I'm out of here. Like, you got so many in that try. You got so many in that try. You got so many in that try to save you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like yes and no, because I all like I'll go back to the same point. Like from my recent experiences, like my exes, it's not like they were like ready to go, but it was like okay, okay, like I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna do this, and like nothing really changed. Mm -hmm. But then they do feel like a week. Yeah, like I feel like it's always like, okay, like I think we can do this better, and then we just like never get there. And then it's like, you know, like you try, you try, you try, and then at some point there is like a, all right, like we've tried point. But I, I mean, I also feel like if a guy, like I said, like if a guy is really into a girl, he's not gonna have that, oh, I'm just out. Like, and I feel like a girl is the same way. If she really wants this to work out, like she's gonna make the effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it plays both sides. Like yeah. If you're right for that person and that person is right for you, you're going to make the effort right. to like fix things to whatever. I just think girls go through a lot of different phases of life. You don't fight what you want. If that's what you really want, then trust me, you don't let it go. Exactly. Go ahead, yeah. I would say if you live off the basis that uh, most women are emotional creatures, then when it comes to love, then they would probably be or tap into the feelings to recognize it. So when it comes to us as men falling in love, because it become because it's more hard for us to tap into that than when we do fall in love, it actually means more. Do you feel like men are more genuine? Love more genuine? I, I think yeah. Well, I think what he's saying too is I think it takes men uh, like it takes something deeper for them to be in love with somebody and love a lot more genuinely than women. Because I think for women, we, try, we tend to be more like submissive and domesticated, yeah. quicker than men are. Females yeah. react sometimes, females react off emotions. Sometimes they react But not emotions. even with emotions, like if you just really genuinely care about the person you're with, you right. start taking care of them in different ways and doing for them and yada yada. And I think for men, it's 
takes a lot more of a deeper connection and like to want to take that role to take the role of just like doing the same thing that their partner's doing for them. Right. Some can decide to make a a, a, a critical decision for themselves. Sometimes may not be not what's right for them, but they're going on blood too. You know. Yeah. Some want to make decisions like that. They don't care if it's right for them. It, it could be wrong, but yeah, that's what makes it toxic. Like if you're like not doing things for yourself for the other person. It's nothing that I don't understand, and it's, it's the shit like I don't really like it, right? Like on a female relationship, right? And you already got y'all mindset of that y'all from the lead, and that's the time that you know the man works the hardest when they know that you slipping away. So you know you slipping away, and you know like it's not gonna change. Why don't y'all express that? Y'all let him do all this extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though he should have been doing it, but he started doing this shit more and more, especially shit that you want him to do. And you see him doing it, but then y'all be like, all right, later down the line, a couple months later, like, all right, now I'm done. After you feel like you got him invested already. But why not just be like, pull the bandaid on, be like, hey, this not gonna work. I, I see you trying, but it's too late. Y'all let the shit get too far, and then when they start turning crazy and all this extra, you be like, I see what? It's not right. But you like you just led him to this empty fucking road when you already knew he was leaving. So why not just slide from the jump? Well, if you're like waiting for things to change, like you're hoping that something's gonna change, and you're hoping that I feel like if if you make your mind up to leave, like then yes, leave. But if you're kind of on the fence and you're like, I don't know if this relationship is right for me anymore. Then you need to go into the next couple of weeks of change, like not expecting to stay together, but also not expecting to just ultimately like not try anymore. You're like, okay, like things are really rocky. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go on like this. But these are the changes that I need to see. And for the next couple of weeks, I just want us to take this like a step back or whatever, like whatever y'all need to do. So it's not like you're acting like nothing's wrong and he's doing all this work to change. And then you're like, actually, I'm still not feeling like there's the connection. Cause you're right. Like at some point it's like, you're trying to change, but I think my mind was already made up. You kind of need to like preface that. Like just go, you know, well, no, it's like, I really want you to change and I want to see if you can change, but know that like I'm going into this couple of weeks or this next period, not sure if we're going to stay together after this or not. But I want to see if you can, if you do have the ability to change and to do better. Like, and then you see that change and they still be just be like, I'm done. I'm just saying like, well, maybe, well, I don't know. Cause I know for me, like I've seen somebody change and they revert, always revert back. So it's like, when you finally are on your knees crying, you don't change, you start doing it, it kind of just sounds like bullshit, so it's like I'm gone. Sometimes the bad outweighs <laughs> the good too, so yeah. stop trying, stop showing up. Sometimes you can be a Will Smith out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> the other words, yeah. But you know say they got an agreement on what they do. That's Hollywood, you feel me? Man, there ain't no fucking agreement. Sometimes what's acceptable for us is acceptable for them. Like, they already had that shit, was, that shit was in turmoil from the jump. So they just ride with She just out here doing them dirty. It's part of business too. We gotta think about that shit. That shit part of them too. Like all this controversy. You feel me? Like the way she sometimes it takes more than just like acts of service. She so don't mind talking about, about two parts. Small detailed things. She don't mind talking about two part. You feel me? Like <laughs> attention and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing though, that's that's what we miss in our shit too, it's little shit. Like I'm telling you, I just said this shit a thousand times. If you do the little shit in the beginning, do the same little shit at the end. Ladies, I'm telling you, the same naked pictures you be sending in, at the beginning, this guy. send them bitches at the end. Them same long ass text messages that, that, that you be like, bro, she tapping, see? Like, yeah, go show it up. Bro, she oh, tapping, okay. send me on it. And Loki, he love that shit. Don't let him fool you. Okay, so communicate that. Because sometimes relationships you get comfortable and you, you, you Right, you that's what I'm saying. But things. you still gotta do the little thing. Them naked pictures still mean a lot. You could be at, he had a, hat, a hard day at work. His girl just in the mix, okay. Instead of y'all sending it to him, y'all send it to Instagram. Or y'all send it to OnlyFans. Or oh, I'm making money off of him. <laughs> Listen, do the little things. The little things always will make shit. Because once you, once what I did to get you, this how, how I can keep you and let us go up. Now, if you leave, I, I'm still doing the right shit, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, some girls fuck up a good man. So I ain't built for the long run, though. That shit only. Do.
Sometimes that shit only go a certain point. Yeah, but sometimes that shit don't go as far as you want to do. That little shit, if you keep doing the little shit, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Because you, you're you being consistent. Once you get comfortable, it's like, damn, I already got it. Now let me just, whatever happens, happens. The, 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 the long messages stop, the good morning stop, the naked picture stop, <laughs> sex like story stop. It's like both sides, though. Uh, like, been, that's what I'm saying. If, you, if nothing think, is communicated, think, then how is it supposed I to be? I think you're right. I think I feel like girls are more vocal too about like, oh, I want you to do this more. You used to do this and you don't do this anymore. Yeah. Or like guys, like they just kind of like wait until now or it's like, you know, oh, I wish my girl would do this more. It's like, well, did you ever tell her that? Like, you know, like, hey, like I would love, you know, communication. Because it does happen like to both sides where you get really comfortable, especially like, if you move, move in with someone, like, you know, you basically be, like feel like your roommates, like you need to keep. You need to keep the relationship part of it alive. That yeah. shit be fucked up, cause um, and I, I'm not having a problem with this shit, not like just like when I, I'm living with somebody and not just like just not text her. You feel what I'm saying? Just even though I'm gonna see her every day, you feel me? Just hitting up. Like, yeah. I just figured. I literally just got out of a situation like that. Like I was living with my ex for a year, and I moved to Georgia for the last year. Like it, it was, it was not like horrible, but we got way too comfortable with each other. Way it was cool. way too comfortable with each other, and it was one of those things where it was way too late by the time we kind of figured it out, yeah. and it was much easier to just like cut our losses and like go our separate ways because it was like at the end of it, it was literally like a friendship. Mm. Like I was, a roommate. I was living with my best friend and it was great, but it ended up like you, it really ended up becoming more pl- platonic. So the you were your best friend? Well, to an extent, because at the same time we did have a lot of those problems where like anger was involved, we weren't on the same page with a lot of things. Let, let me tell you now, hey, y'all stop watching the movie. That dating my best friend shit, that's the perfect, that shit is a fucking lie. You hear me? Look at me. What? Because low key, when it's, you it's date your best friend, like you cannot date. You got, if you have a boy best friend, mm-hmm. and somebody here was like, hey, let's get together, and y'all do it, that shit is not gonna fucking work. Yeah, I feel like You it's... can't date your best Why I say that? It's because, look, right? Oh, I can date him because he know me better than anybody know me that did that. You already established that. Once you establish that friendship, that's the zone you see him in now. I'm, I'm, I see you as a friend. So when I try to cross some lines and let's date, now I'm feeling like I'm losing a friend and like, I already put you in. I already put you in that zone. So like, when they be like, it's it, it's weird, isn't that? And then y'all understand y'all missing it now because the person that you went to and tell this is now your boyfriend. And some type of shit you don't want to tell him because you're about to adjust to it or get yeah, around it. Ain't separate the boyfriend. Yeah, and, friends. And, you, and you can't do it. So when you so when, when that shit happens, it's like. Damn. So when I see like they're like, oh, I'm dating my, I'm dating my best friend. Me and him been best friends since we was like in middle school. The shit don't work, even though he knows you. But you already put him in that zone. Like your picture for him is our picture. That's my friend. Yeah. That's my friend. So it's hard to go. Oh, let's date because now it's your friend. So you know I see boys got cooties. This is the nigga you ran from. This nigga had cooties. So now you're trying to bring the nigga that got cooties. Oh, come here, come with me. No, it's it's not gonna work. That's how I feel. I don't know if somebody said differently. But you can't date your best friend. I say, and then like when you in a relationship and you like, oh, this is my best friend. Y'all built that. Right. That's right. That, that, that's a different connection when y'all already got, oh, this is my friend. It's established. So I be saying him like, damn. That's why I'm like, you know, people are like, oh, I know you're I can't date my best friend because at the end of the day, I know when I see her as she's in that friend zone. Like that's like, no, I can't cost them lots because if I do, that shit gonna go sideways and I'm gonna lose the person. Like bro said, you can't separate the, the, the girlfriend from the friend. Like you said, it's different if you like build it with someone because they, there is just like the moniker of like marry your best friend. But it's like, okay, more like marry the guy that turned into your best friend once you started dating. Because if I was dating guys that were like, oh, they're great friends. And I even said that about multiple guy friends that I've had, that my friends have had. Like, they're great guys, they're great friends, but they're not great boyfriends. Like, they're not great boyfriends. Can't mix the two because you already got them set up a certain way in your life. So when they cross that line, you know how to react, uh, how to act, certain things that you want to expect out of them. Like you expect certain shit out of them too, and then y'all get together. That can cause a lot of grief, a lot of shit. 
Like expectations change. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause you yeah. think you know your best friend. Yeah. But you really don't. <laughs> but you yeah. know. Once, once you start dating, I was like, God damn, I know you was like this. Man, you can judge them for certain shit. I ain't yeah. got to respect them. You can judge them for certain shit. Nah, 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 yeah. just getting the story. Nah, you ain't in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't money from down the street. Now you you ain't just got her side of the story. <laughs> yeah, nah, 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 you ain't. Oh, oh, my God, God damn. I remember she told me she did this and she did. So now, you know what I'm saying? You got this thing, you got this in your mind. Well, this is. Like this is how this shit supposed to go? This is what she is. And that, sh and that shit, it, it, it's hard. It's like, damn, like, I thought I knew you, but I don't really know you. you really don't. Because, like, once you did it, you like, damn, I didn't know your birthday. I knew your birthday was this. I didn't know your favorite color was this. Oh, damn, I didn't know you didn't eat this. I didn't know you were allergic to that. And I'm not really your best friend. And it's like that. He said, nah, I can't judge you how I want to judge you. Like, before, I could be the nigga be like, I ain't gonna never lie. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. For sure. So, but once we start that, goddamn, I can't tell you. That. You're not allowed to. Yeah. That, yeah. that, 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 might, that might hurt you in a different way than if I was your friend. If I'm your best friend, I'd be like, damn, girl. That, you would still be up. You know what I'm saying? Man, we could, yeah, like, yeah. You're not allowed to tell hey, me that this dress look, 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 that dress will look good on you today, uh, sis. Goddamn. Can't we dead. Hey, that dress. What you mean I'm getting fat? Aw, oh, shit. Look, yeah. hey. Or for <laughs> example, uh, or I know, damn, she ain't called me. I knew she was somebody else, but she, this is what she told me she did before when it was friends. But hey, you, know what and you, get, you get them secrets and then those secrets come out and it's like, damn. So now you judging them a certain type of way. And that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. One thing, okay, let's, let's play this But you, become, you can become friends after. You think if you break up and you become a friend? You become Fuck friends after. I mean, y'all can be, because y'all got a lot of public to have No, a I say that. Well, why I say you can become best friends like with your ex. Yeah, no. y'all can be cool. Y'all can be cool. Y'all can be cool. Because soon, because soon, because soon, I feel like that. I feel like you can be cool. Especially if you feel like you can be cool. If you feel like you can be cool. Because she'll, she'll tell you, she'll put you on game. Like, man, it's, it, I feel like, no. I feel like if she your ex, that's cool. But like, if, if she probably your, like, she like, no, you can't be your mama or something like that. If she turns into your friend, I feel like you can be cool. You got to talk to her. You got to talk to her. And y'all got like a good relationship. And she like, it depends on who you, bro. It depends well, again, on who you are. Again, I, I, again, what, what I, I, listen, I've I swear. And I feel like if me and Mons ever, she would be my ace, boom, boom, my bestest is free. It's hard for me why I say that because once that shit happen, like, 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 you can't, you can't, then, it, like you said, you can't separate the friend from the, the girlfriend. Once you date them, I feel like you can't mm -hmm. separate, you can't, uh, separate they from my dog because I when they walk around the house you can touch on me and they if, if she my if I'm her dog now and she walk around the house like that I'm gonna have the urge to be like I'm gonna let me touch you it's, it's hard for me to be like oh that shit ain't done let me oh, look this oh, way oh, oh we'll be best as friends <laughs> we'll be best as friends <laughs> <laughs> that shit is well, hard shit you would be a damn fool so you say you can't be best you can't be friends that's until that's hey, what can't be friends until I don't know my ex. I'm the best one. I my baby mama could be my dog, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, 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 it's, it's my baby mama. Who you talk to? Somebody you talk to. I don't know about somebody, somebody I used to talk to. Somebody I used to talk to, I could be friends with somebody I used to talk to. It's I feel like I it's could. I feel like it's easier to be friends with my baby mama than my ex. I could. But why? Because like I know like we established whatever. When we tried our tribulations. The shit didn't work. But like my ex, I could like did something wrong or fucked up some type of way, you know what I'm saying? Then like she gave somebody else like, damn, I know what type of mold she makes. Oh my <laughs> I know what she look like when she like that shit, like no, I can, I don't know. I, I can't and then a lot of times when you friends with your ex, she bring up shit that she did and that shit boss, oh, yep, yeah, you you should do that same shit when we did. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck you bring that up? <laughs> Oh, you used to do that same shit we did. Come on, man. Like, come nah, if she brings it up, she's not with you. She's just like, trying to make you better. If you had to win your ex, there would always be some type of flirting happening. Yeah. Nah, flirting nah, happening. nah, nah, if she's doing shit like, oh, Brady, if I'm coming to you like you my no. dog, and then, like, I'm coming to you like, damn, well, yeah. Well, like, try to be friends with your ex and then get a new girl and see how she feels about that. Because yeah. then or, you're probably not going to say that. Or are you going to be friends with my ex? To be friends with my ex. Like, if you're friends with your ex and then you, like, find a new girl and you're like, hey, by the way, like, I still hang out with my ex, like, she's gonna be like, that's a red flag as fuck, and nah. dip so fast. Nah. Very true. Nah. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, because I'm like, mm, why are you still hanging out with your ex? Like, what's still there? Like, what's still left? <laughs> but what yeah. if she's making the first bet? I feel like I'm going to get real petty about that real fast. Yeah, I'm not mature enough for that. Mm-hmm. Mature enough for what? You being friends with your ex. Like, I, so, like, okay, so, so like you said, so if, if, if she was here before you, I'd be like, how about you leave and then we'll see like if he's still out there. And if he's not, then you can come back. <laughs> so if she was here before you, you go make him like stop talking to his best friend? I don't like a girl. If she's that. a better no, no, wait, if Honestly, she's what I would do, I would be so close to her so I would know everything. That's also true. Like, Keep your friends close and your enemies close. Yeah, I mean, oh okay, cool. We're best friends now. Okay, if it's, if it's a best friend to a girlfriend to an ex, maybe yeah, that's different. different. Like you try to date your best friend and it yeah. didn't work out, mm-hmm. okay, that's different. That's different. But if it's your ex first and then you just stay friends, that's oh, okay. Yeah. I'm about so what if, what if it's this baby mama that thing? Baby mama are different. different. Yeah. You guys have a problem with like, you yeah. need to co-parent your best friend and be cool and cordial. You know what I hate though? Like, so you're not mature enough to be cordial. Listen. Yeah, I know. No. You said no? I Because as soon as like I, someone else comes into my life, I feel like I need to make a decision. Like, I, I can't have my ex hanging around and then bring a new guy into my life, too. <laughs> like, no. We'll put it in your, percept- in your perspective. If you got out with a girl and she's still talking to and besting with her ex. Besting with her ex or she got a best friend? Probably just being a best friend. With her ex. That means you're her best, best, best friend, whatever. Apology. Yeah, like, if it's a best friend you tried to date and it didn't work out, that's different. Yeah, but if it's like, oh, this is my ex-girlfriend. You would have a woman to be best friends with your best friend or whatever. It would be cool with that, but would you accept it the other way around? Yeah, it depends. If he's here before me. I don't think my friend. girlfriend's your friends. Like, you know. If he's here before me, like, I got to accept that. I'm not, I'm not the type of girl to go to, right, look, you got to stop talking to this one because, you know what I'm saying, we together now. He was here before me. That's cool. That's your dog. But right. we dated. That's something different, though. Uh, see. That's a little bit different, cause like, cause I, cause the only reason I say that, cause I know niggas' minds, I know their intentions. Cause soon as you, soon, soon as so you, why can't we know women? Okay, first of all, guys. You, no, I'm saying, listen. Man, cause soon, <laughs> soon, soon as me and you get into an argument, right? You get into an argument, you start crying. That's the person you gonna call. And what he gonna tell you? Come over. And girls only cheat. Girl, listen. Girls only cheat. Okay. Like, guys, let's not have, like guys' egos you. aren't big. Like they're too big to handle you having another guy around. Yeah. Guys' egos are uh, every single guy's way if, 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 has way too big. If it's her best, if it's her best friend, if she's dated, it's like no, not dated. If she's strictly her best friend, if you're strictly her best friend, it's different. But as soon as like if, as soon as they've crossed that boundary, then like you said, that guy always has it in his mind. Oh, he knows what she looks like when she's naked. Oh, he knows what. But you ain't gonna cheat on nobody you ain't got feelings for. No, for That's sure. Female. So if you friend with your ex, you can cheat on that nigga because you have feelings for this nigga. Okay, first of all, no one should be cheating. Yeah. You just dump I'm just saying. So I'm just saying. <laughs> if you really gotta try to cheat, just dump the motherfucker. Like, just yeah. make it easier for yourself. You see how good that sounds? It good cuts the sound coming out your mouth. They don't do that shit. Well, it's, e- I want- it's easier. I was gonna say this question, but I'm gonna ask you now since you know this cheap, alright? Boom. Say you and your man get to argue with whatever. He cheats on you. Whatever, not saying it's right, whatever happened, happened, y'all, y'all get through it. Automatic. No, automatic. Wait, 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 I'm saying, say, if you love this man, whatever, whatever, y'all. There is no getting through. Yeah, y'all get, y'all, y'all get through it, right? Y'all get, y'all get through it. it it's good, y'all good, all right? Boom. And then later down the line, you cheat and he leave. Are you upset? Absolutely. <laughs> Because every reason no, that you no, gave me to no, stay with you no. after cheating is every reason that you need to be staying with no. me now. Oh, you, you know why I said that? Reason. You know why I said that? You weren't supposed to do it. Listen, like, you know why I said that? Because we already established. We already right. seen my fuck up. That's it, that's it. Right? Right. We, got, we, got, we, got, we got through my fuck up so he can get right. Oh, I owe him one.
we got through it together. My mistakes was the reason why. So what about, what if the girl cheats first then? And if you take her back? And then you guys get through it together and then the guy leaves and I'm done. I fucking leave. I'm a, I, I, in my offense. you cheated. Now you cheated. In my, in, in my offense, if I fuck up, and she, I'm like, damn, like, I stay, I'm going to say that, no, you're but not. It, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't gonna be right, because we already established, we already seen what my fuck-ups was, we established my fuck-ups, we, we, we seen the shit, we got better, they just think you just finna go out, oh, I, I got one up, shit, it's my turn to cheat now, no, that's tit for tat, and I hate tit for tat. If that's her reasoning, then yeah, that's fucked what's, up. What's your fucking, fucking reason? What's your reason? Give y'all a game, listen. A man or dogs. And we know that. Fellas, we know that, right? But a man will see a girl and she's gonna fuck, he's gonna fuck and have no feelings of all at all. He gonna fuck and there ain't gonna be no feelings of all. A girl ain't gonna fuck nobody unless she got feelings for them. Not true. I mean if she finds him like attractive, but not true. I mean, what? like, I've had one night like, stands true. before. I swear, you're not gonna fuck me guys. That's true. Not true. How do you explain one night stands? Not fucking true. You don't build it to someone in one night. So if, if you think you got a man at, at home, whatever, you, you think a girl can do a one night stand? Yes. No! I have one night stands and I don't give a fuck in the morning. I, I wake up and I don't know. That's true. I just, yeah, I just <laughs> because girls, when they have a man, they're not interested in one night stands. I don't believe it. One night stand, two night stands, weekend. Plug. What? I call a plug. What? Still fuck, man. Come on, man. Man, bro. Tell me, uh, dog. Man. Tell me. Hey, man. She want to fuck? Bro, she, I swear, she ain't going to fuck unless she got That finished. night. Bring it to the wood. That night. She ain't going to fuck. What the fuck? She ain't going to fuck unless she got She ain't going to fuck. She let you fuck on the first night. 
You don't you feel like she a hoe? No. Nice. Everything go off vibes. Okay. Everything go off vibes. Alright. Everything go off vibes. So Not yeah, every single thing. If you get on the first night shit. It doesn't it doesn't matter like how long people like people wait for this, that, and third. It ain't go off vibes. So you don't feel like she she, she, ain't, she ain't the ain't hoe shit if you get on the first night? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you hit a girl on the first night, you feel like she, like she, she had that. Wait. She had that. No. I feel like guys, like I, like I will purposely try not to have sex with a guy for the first like couple of days or something, just because I feel like if I do, that's not gonna be their Some people don't do that. Some people don't consider themselves a fool. Some don't like it. 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 So like, y'all are just there to get off on each other and be done. Like, it's that. Uh, so she gives no more No! No! Stop. No. Stop. no. Stop. no. Stop. no. Stop. She did it. She did it. Have you ever? Wait, this, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Okay, so, okay. Look, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Look, it could. It could. It could. Okay. It could be she had a photo. Because her watch. Watch. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 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 H
You don't think that you don't think that you don't think that 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 picture be a fan? Oh, Lawrence is hit her too. Oh, Chase say he hit her too. But that's that's my like Ronnie Ronnie hit her too. What the fuck is she in the hood? Ain't no feelings involved and she got no dude. She ain't no hoe, she just sing, she out here just flagging. Yeah, there's no she can be just fucking. I feel like that's when you're a hoe and everybody just know you fucking. Like, if you're homie, I'll break that for you. Like, a lot of niggas be lying, too. <laughs> <laughs> everybody know you fucking with. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers be lying. <laughs> if you've gotten around that much, we're like friends. Okay. Like, oh yeah, I got her too. God damn it, I'm glad we're here. How many bodies is too many bodies? Two minutes. <laughs> Is she, is she 
been 35 bodies, right? I bet nine times out of ten, every yeah, y'all niggas chipping in here will make 36. Nah, uh, I ain't locking her. Like, I ain't. You feel me? I ain't yeah. locking her. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. There's a lot of bodies. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. Okay, so uh, 35 bodies a lot. That's what we asked. What number you got? Right. So okay, if she get, if she had 35 bodies, right? But you vibe with her, you fuck with her. You gonna stop talking to her because she got 35 bodies? No, I'm not. I ain't gonna judge her for that. Nigga. Right. If I'm fucking with her, nah, but... Then we had this conversation last week, but I told you. Okay, I said, if I pass. fuck with her, it's different. Right. I'm right. passing the pass. Right. Right. You have... Say this bullshit. You got to be So you ain't... You said, personally, I'm not? Nah, because she, like, she got... She got to be like, hold on.
certain yes. ones. Like beige flags, like yellow flags. Like this, this bitch got a sex problem. I can't look past that, that flag. I don't how many one it is. <laughs> it be one big, that's one big ass flag. I can't look past that one. Yeah, that's if she I, knows her body count and it's that high, that's an issue. Yeah. Why are you counting? Why are you still counting? I'm not going to ask that question because I don't want to know the answer to it. Yeah, if you're asking whatever, that question. Whatever number I have in my head and you don't say the number I have in my head and it's more than the number I have in my head, then I'm going to lose interest in my damn. So if my number in my head is 10 and I say how many bodies you got, and say 25, mm, yeah. shit. Huh. That's not the number I had in my head. So like me and my head is like we think. Are you asking me that like, question? What, what did she say? Like back? she lost count. Like she just stopped counting at the point. I I think I might be cool with that because at the end of the day, the unknown is I'm okay with the unknown sometimes. And that unknown path twenty five. Yeah. yeah, but that 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 uh, if you know the exact answer and I already think the number. So if I'm thinking you only got four bodies and you come and tell me you got fifteen, it's like mm, damn. Like yeah. my mind wasn't thinking that. You ain't carry yourself like that because if I if I could if I could see yourself like I can see you carry yourself and I wish I could see the bodies behind you that would like make me not go there. But like if you carry yourself and but you are still doing the wrong shit and it's portraying as you a wife and material and that's what <clears throat> I think I seen a, a podcast about it. It was like it's lot of not here portraying wife and material. So like. They can't separate yourself. So like now you see like the wife and materials hanging with the hoes. And, 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 <laughs> hanging with the hoes. Hanging with the hoes. <laughs> and you can't and you can't identify which one is the wife material. So because the wife material is not being so wife so material. Is a, so you think if the wife material hanging out with the hoes, what you think the wife material is? That's what I'm trying to tell you. You so can't identify it's hard to pull it out. So I'm pretty sure you see four holes and you see a wife with a tail. How do you know? Like, are they wearing name tags? Are they wearing socks? Shit, they need to. They got their name tags and say, Watch the operatives and holes. Please. If you ain't already in the field, you're going to need to feel it. Next time like, I go out and they, they have like a person who goes out with a white wife. So, what you said? You said. So, you said, okay. I hear you. How many times you heard this saying? He is what his friends is. Yeah. So if you see your wife material hanging with four holes, what the fuck is going on? If your date got girl and then that's your friends are like that. like that, that's your problem. No, we ain't trying to say nothing like that. We just like, saying the odds are. He said, he said, he said the odds are. The odds are. I'm pretty sure if she's not one, she will become one. Oh, she ain't graduated at that level yet. It's coming. Because <laughs> <laughs> you won't be. Go ahead. You said not true. Go ahead. Explain it. Because it don't matter who the fuck you're around. Like you are who you are. No, I'm saying. Like right. you can find a bitch in church doesn't mean she's gonna be loyal. And she's around shit in church all the time. Like you could be around all that, but that doesn't mean that's what you're gonna do. Like, like. I don't know. Yeah, it's not fair. Like, like when I see a man, he's around, he's around a bunch of hoes. Like, I'm not like, oh, he's a hoe. Or like, if I'm like, dating. A, that's just how I think, though. Like, that's not a girl like, thing like that. If you're well, dating a girl like, and, like, her friends are, like, hoeing out, but they're single, like, that's different. It's like, okay, I'm not going to hoe out I'm in a relationship. But my girlfriends are single. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Right. Yeah. That, that, that could be kind of weird, too, because the same, but them same hoes, when you go to the club with them, can you see him over there? They be trying to get you to. They be trying to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I will say this. Okay, so in saying that, using a different example. Of this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Using the same shit. In oh saying God. that, I would say that you cannot use the same woman hmm. as reference to. Oh no, I was here. No, fuck that. The fuck is you talking about? You were there whenever you told me. Um, some amount of times what y'all, what she was doing, blah, 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 and how you have covered for her. I was standing right here mm-hmm. while you covered for her. <laughs> so you think they're covering for her now? Mm-hmm. We ain't got, she ain't got necessarily be no who. No, 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 I'm just saying. You can't look at her as a reference. Oh, okay, like she's no, not a reference. She's a reference. Like, if their friends are going to lie for them. 
No, even that. But I'm saying though, if, 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 well, I was supposed to leave, believe her. If, 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 yeah, like, oh, oh, she had keep it. Listen to him, listen to him. I'm trying to say, if you're around, she hang around. If you're around, she hang around. Look, you can say that. If you know how much she was a liar, like, I don't get the connection. It could be. I know she ain't not here telling the motherfucking truth. Listen, I understand. Because if, okay, okay, say, 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 we, some you dating the girl, whatever. Mm. And you know her friend and did this and did that, right? And then you try to like, oh, baby, what you talking about? I was with Shaniqua over here. Bitch, what the fuck about Shaniqua? Man. Knowing what she does. <laughs> no, and in your mind, you know what Shaniqua out here doing. Shaniqua had about five on running it up. Man. And you think you finna be like, oh, I was hanging with her and that's gonna be okay? She would. Yeah. Fuck up. Cause that's my girl. She can do whatever the fuck she wants if she's single. <laughs> Oh, hell no. And that's my friend, go off, sis. Why would she come over for her when she was single? What the fuck? Okay, covering, covering for someone is different. But if like, my girl is just a hoe, like, I'm gonna let her do her thing. Like, I don't okay. know. Okay, and that's what the fuck we feel at, too. I feel like we feel that. Like if you, see, if you see your girlfriend doing hoe shit, why us women don't call her out on her hoe shit? Instead, you don't call her out. You can be on the shit. They can be on the city girl shit. Yeah, you have a friend though. Well, I feel like if my friend doing some dumbass shit, I'm gonna be like, hey bro, you doing some dumbass shit. My friend consistently cheats on her boyfriend. I don't say shit. That's what. <laughs> Black man don't cheat. 
She said, why you say you cheated? That's cheating. Black man don't cheat. Black man does not cheat. Hey, 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 my brother. Now you got dumped up for now. My brother, hey. You thought you ain't. You got some scandalous. You thought you ain't with that. No. What he said? He motherfucking scandalous. He said scandalous. This man. You got some that don't don't that don't want to cheat. You got some that don't want to cheat. Who don't say that too? Who say that too? Go ahead, explain more to it. So I'm gonna change your life. Yeah. You get to a point where you don't want to see You know, you know what's crazy, bro? You know what's crazy? I was talking, I talked to me again, right? And we was talking, bro. He was like, it, 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 it was funny, but the shit made me realize some shit too. I was like, yeah, you might be right. I said, I seen a girl that I knew was out here doing whatever she was doing, dying, whatever. And I asked him, I said, damn, bro, how the fuck she ever gonna fall in love? Cause she, is she out here doing this? He was like, bitch, don't you fall in love? She'll never like, be happy. He's like, she gonna love the same way, what? what you got? Be that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. Like, how the fuck she gonna find love? But she just, oh, I just, just, she just keep looking at what you mean, like, like if she, if, if she, out, if she out here fucking and jumping from nigga to nigga, how the fuck she gonna find love? Maybe she's not trying to find love. Who said she trying? Right, yeah. Maybe she's trying to find love. Right, yeah. Maybe she's trying to find love. But it be the same one. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. Man, no, because it be her ass on Instagram. She be everybody wants to be on that. She be on that soaking shit. Everybody wants to be on that. Serious, like all y'all guys playing. Niggas, niggas a lot that shit down, man. Everybody wanna be loved. Everybody wanna be loved. Man, I don't know, man. I think, I think, like, hold on. You can not be looking for love, but wanna be loved. Everybody. So you say, I feel like you're fine. You remember what Kai said? They're all hoes. Cause I think that I fall in love with her. It's a dumbass because she probably done some dumbass shit. That nigga different. That nigga say, I say, when you let her go tomorrow, he said, what's she going to the mall for?
bro. Be sweet, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Why you feel like that, bro? You posting like sexual shit, especially some of us be posting sexual guys that make you money. Some of some girls, bro. I don't know what the fuck you posting it for. So she got me for attention or some shit. It can't be for me. Sit Me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And my brothers in your comments for end, bro. So how Especially if you bad for real, get a lot of likes and shit like that. A motherfucker's gonna, a motherfucker that's up there is gonna Why are you worried about that? It's competition, I gotta work. <laughs> You cheating on your man? No, but would it be different? Because, like, you basically show sure everybody, bro. Like, this like, shit not even for me no more. Try to, you know, it's yeah. a fucking picture. Okay, I think you should change the question. I think, I feel it's like. It's a fucking picture. I feel like, okay, so. Do yeah. you feel this? Most of us be jacking off you with your pictures and shit. So, I don't you, like, lingerie. Yeah. Without at least showing your man. Lingerie? If he feels it's his way, do not. But if you don't give a fuck, then okay. If he doesn't care, then okay. Yeah, 
dan maar één nog. Ik heb het een volledig heel natuurlijk. Het is mooi als je het volledig mag. Mijn favorite question. Love or loyalty? Loyalty. To my man, I take loyalty over any time. Even old man. Love or loyalty? Yeah. Some dumbass out there say love. They know who they are. Take you on a date, everything on her.